Welcome, this is a Terminal Tuesday video, although it's Wednesday. I was very busy yesterday and didn't get the video out, so I'm posting it today. Today is going to be a just a quick tip. Uh, it's going to be very fast, and it's just going to be looking at a feature of something we already know, the read command. The read command allows you to grab user input in a shell environment uh, from the user. So, uh, example, we can type uh, read uh, dash p and we put a phrase please enter your name we hit that you can see it prints out that and then you user can type something hit enter right now it does nothing with that input and of course we've gone over in the past just adding a variable after that so we'll say you name for username now if we press that, now I can type, you know, metal X 1000. And when I hit enter, now I can echo dollar sign you name and it will print out what that user put in because we created a variable called, in this case, you name, and it was, we set it to equal to whatever we read from what the user inputted. So that's great, but let's say you want to do this. Well, clue, not clar. Clear the screen. You can also hit control L to clear the screen. Um, let's say we want someone's password. So we'll just say password, put a little space there, make it a little bit more legible, I guess. And we'll create a variable called pass. How about that? Now we hit enter. Looks like it's asking for a password. I'm going to type my password, one, one, two, three, four, five. Now I hit enter. You know, that's great. Now I can echo out dollar sign pass. I can pipe it into another program, store it, whatever I need to do with it. But there is an issue. You don't want your password to be displayed on the screen. You know, you want to store it in a nice, safe, encrypted file, however you want to store it. But even if you do that, you don't want it to show up on the screen when you're typing. In a GUI environment, you'll have asterisks or just little dots uh, up here because you don't want your password to be visible. So how can we set this so that when the user's typing in their password, it doesn't show up? Well, that's simple. Same command, read-p, whatever you want the output to display, and then a variable that you're going to set the password or the, the user input as. But if we do dash s, um, which I guess stands for secret, uh, we hit enter. Now you can see, just like before, it displays the question password. And now I can start typing, and I'll type in Linux. You can see nothing appears on the screen. I can hit enter now, and now I can go echo dollar sign pass, and you can see that the password I did enter is Linux. So once again, we're using the read command, dash s for secret, so it doesn't display what the user is typing on the screen, dash p and no space, and then the phrase or question you want to display on the screen for the user, and then the variable you want to input. So we can also add before this a clear and a, a semicolon there, so we get a nice uh, clear thing. We can add another command after that. Also, you know, just going over stuff we already know, semicolon means new command. So we're running a clear command here, then new command, which is the read command and its parameters here. And then we can say, clear it again, and we can say echo, you entered dollar sign pass. And now if we hit enter, it clears the screen, asks for password, I'll type in tux. I'll hit enter, and here it says, you entered tux. So that's just a quick tip on using a command. We already know the read command, but adding in this dash s to make the input secret so it doesn't display on the screen. I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris of the K. There will be links in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.